is in the building. Hey. What's up? What's up? How you doing? Good, what's good? I'm good. I'm great. How are you? I'm amazing. You know, alive and grateful. Gotta be. Gotta be. Every day. For every sure. Day. Exactly. What you call it? Um, Welcome to the creator's journey. Thank you. Thank I you for having me. Of course. Of course. Just definitely had to tap into your perspective as an upcoming artist. Mm -hmm. Um, We saw that you just dropped Sailor Moon, so I pretty much just wanted to tap into the concept of your single and then just just talk about your growth you know and what to expect in 2021 you know yeah definitely so, so let's let's actually start off with your name okay leia yeah. my name is leia you know not layla not laya uh but leia yeah i got it right i got it right we lit yes. we lit <laughs> yeah yeah well you you got it right you know every now and then somebody fumbles it and i don't understand it's like it's only four letters guys yeah it's not that hard it's not that hard yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That is now, is that your government or that's just your artist name? Um, that's my artist name. It's Fire. actually a blend of, my last name is Ayala. So it's, mm. it's actually kind of a mashup of my last name. Ayala backwards is Aleya. Mm. But I felt like that sounded too close to, to Aaliyah. So I was like, nah, let's just go with Leia. I feel that. I feel so, yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, so, I do, I, I have like a, a secret little acronym. It's like, love all you are. Oh, that's what it stands for? Uh, yeah, it to me. Fire. I don't. I don't like it. In my, it personally to me. I I feel like it. It came to me one day. Like I just it hit me in my head, and I was like, "Yo, like that's what it means." <laughs> that's what it is. I feel it. I love it. I respect it. You should but, name like you should make like a, you know, drop an album. You know what I mean? And oh, definitely, definitely. But in the future, like when I'm in album mode, like I feel like yeah. right now I'm still in like single EP. Like no, nah, like, I already know. No, like, I'm saying like. Most, that's definitely an idea exactly i was gonna say for your like debut album it'd be dope if you had the name with the acronym broken down like that you know what i'm saying and then people got to tune in to understand exactly what it is you know what right, i'm saying right. that's dope though and it's, it's funny you mentioned the because like i was listening to i was listening to um on site yeah and i, I saw he sampled he did a nice little Leah sample there <laughs> is she is, is she actually one of your um i guess biggest influences uh well yes I mean she's she's one of them I I can say I'm definitely influenced by like all of the like 90s era female R&B artists and girl groups like 702 Destiny's Child like Black and it, all of Facts. them um, we're bringing all the vibes so, yeah Brandy like all of them so definitely Ali is definitely in there is one of my influences um it's just like that 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 vein of R&B that is mm. just I love so much, so it comes out of me. So I do get that a lot. Like some people, they're like, "Oh, like you remind me of you know this, this one or that one or a Leo or seven o two or like." And I mean, it's in my blood. I can't help it. Like those are definitely um, like my mother's. Yeah. That's fire. Are you are you a nineties baby? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah so you, I'm a nineties baby. Intuitive. I'm not. I'm not a child. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a child. You know. Like, I, I, People out here be like, yeah, you know, I was born in like, you know, 2000, <laughs> and, and it's like, and it's like 2000, it's like, and. time out, yeah, he's a baby, he's yeah, a baby. Yeah, yeah. Now, nah, but I'm definitely a '90s baby. Like, I remember that music. Not saying I was grown at this time, I was not, but right. <laughs> but I remember yeah. growing up with like that music, and yeah, same. What, you know, like that's what like you know all the girls in my neighborhood listen to. So it's just like, you know, what I mean, that's where my heart was at. Who's um, who's like some of your inspirations now, currently? Now, it's so funny because like, I I'm inspired by people like Thundercat. And, mm. um, you don't hear that one often. Shout out I to Thundercat. I love Thundercat because he's a musician. Yeah, like, he's different. He's a musician first. Like now, you see, he's he's in his artist bag now. Like, but. I'm inspired by people like Thundercat, like people who really just know and understand music, like uh, deep, other than just beats and tracks, like really giving. They know how to put a song together. Because I love funk, like I love, like I would throw on some Rick James and some old '80s uh, mm. R&B, like or some old funk, like some funkadelic, a Parliament and a funkadelic. Like I swear, like I love that stuff. So I'm definitely inspired by artists who like 
infuse that with and bring that into the current you know what i mean because you can still make it current you can still make modernize it, hot, it like you know what mm -hmm. i mean but i love artists that can blend that and do that so like artists like that inspire me today that's fire i, I love that i love that because it makes it makes you unique you know what i'm saying and and it makes your sound different from everything else that's out currently you know what i'm saying yeah yeah so i, I mean, love that you gotta have a it's soul like at the end of the day at, at the core it's soul music so it's mm -hmm. like as long as you got that soul in there, you can bring it to any, any time period, any, 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 any space. You can bring it anywhere. That's it's how timeless. It timeless yeah, exactly, music. Exactly. Exactly. I already know. I got you. Now tell me about, tell me about when you started singing officially. Like, oh, what I've inspired you to start singing, and when? I've, I've been singing my whole life, um, and I like not even to not not on a corny shit or nothing. Like, I I mean, there's like photos and old cassette tape recordings of me when I'm like two years old I barely talk but I'm singing yeah. like I'm singing tomorrow by Annie like tomorrow uh, and I'm grabbing the classic. microphone anything that looks like a microphone it'd be a can or bottle and I'm in front of the mirror and I'm da -da 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 -da. right forever um so I mean I, and like growing up everybody you know your teachers ask you what are you gonna be when you grow up I'm like I'm gonna be a singer like right. I don't need this I don't need that. Like, I'm going to be a singer. I don't, I'm, I'm going to be Selena. Like, I don't care what you say. I don't care what you heard. Like, now facts, like all the talent shows as a kid. Like, so I've been singing like forever. I started writing music very young as well. Like as a kid, not nice. to say that my songs were any good. I mean, I'm just, they were like terrible. Nah, they're good. They're good. They're good. <laughs> they're good. But I, but I was like, you know, like kids, you know, you doodle in the back of your notebook. I'm like writing like love songs and poems and shit. To, like, you I was know, just, like, I was just about to ask if you write poetry. Well, yeah, like, I mean, that's how it started. You know, like, you know, you're in school, you learn how to write poems, you learn how to write. And so now I'm writing. Nonstop. Yeah, I'm just writing <laughs> stuff. So, yeah, so I've, I've always been just that creative type. And my parents are, are artists and creative people. Um, my mm. mother uh, is, like, in visual arts and sculpting and painting and things like that. My father's side of the family's always done, like, performing arts, like, theater play nice. productions and things like that so I it was just like yeah I'm gonna make something I'm gonna do something I'm gonna write it's something to I'm, gonna some, I'm gonna sing something right yeah that's always been like me <laughs> I love it I love it you you was born for this natural born superstar <laughs> oh well, th well thank you thank you now, I just <laughs> believe though I was born for this dead ass though I'm not even gonna hold you gonna hold you <laughs> she not capping y'all she not capping <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so so now what would you say, what age did you officially, you was officially like, all right, let me, let me take this seriously. Let me, let me go crazy. You know what I mean? I would say, I'm like my early 20s. I would say like my early 20s. And I started, um, that's when I got, I, I bought my first microphone and mm. that came with the inbox and that's when i first started learning how to like record myself and mix myself and make my own not an engineer okay oh, yeah, yeah, yeah everything okay. like the moon i recorded that in my room i wow. mixed it myself and i just sent it to like my producers to have them kind of like you know level it out and, right. and just like finalize master it but the mix the original mix and all that stuff is that's all me my ep okay. everything that's all me yeah okay yeah okay. so I first did that, yeah, like my early twenties. I say like in like two thousand fourteen, thirteen ish. Okay. I started. Um, yeah, I, I bought my first mic, and I got uh. Pro Tools, yeah, my, Logic. No, I got Ableton, Studio Garage Band, Studio One. Studio okay. One. Studio okay. One, and I still to this day record in Studio One because that's what I learned. And that's what I know, like, and I know how to finesse that. Like, I don't know how, I like, I mean, every DAW is virtually the same, but like, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, you just, everybody has their own, like, little program. And my program is definitely um, Studio One, just because that's the one I learned. That's the one I knew how to finesse, and I grew with it, like, and it's to this day. So I, I first started taking it serious then. I was recording myself. I didn't want to pay for studio time. Not even to want to pay, but I couldn't afford to pay for studio right. time. It's like, but she was like, she's like, I can't afford studio time, but I have to make this music. So like, yeah. it's gonna happen. Yeah, because like, especially as a girl, as a female, it's like, dudes will get you in the studio, but to be on a hook, 
or to mm. you know whatever it's like yeah you come in here anytime you want for free and it's like yeah but not to do anything that i want to do right and I feel also, that. i'm a singer and i'm i guess maybe a touch of a perfectionist and it's like mm. i gotta get it right I got to I got to do as many takes as I need to do. As I you need should. To lay the stacks and the harmonies and I need to fill it up. I need it to sound right and it right. takes time and I can't it's not like rappers can often just hop in the studio one take just, boom. One boom. take. <laughs> I just boom, 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 I spit it out here some ad libs and it's done and they bounce the track so they can go in the studio and knock out like three four records. I right. can't do that. And I think that I can't but it's not going to be what I want it to be. Right. You know what I mean? Like so I needed that time, and it gave me the the time and the opportunity to be able to be at home, to take as many takes as I want. No one's in the room with me. I could embarrass myself. I could sound right. No distractions. If I need to, and that's how I learned. So I started taking it seriously. Yeah, like I say, like almost close to yeah, yeah. Uh, six years now. Six years. Yeah, ago. yes, yeah, it's been a while. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. And then you dropped. Now you dropped your first single, your first official single. When did you drop that? And it, it it just you know, and it builds from there. It goes from there. So you know, you, you make tracks. Good ass tracks. Uh, well, I think I lost you there. You're breaking up a bit. All right, there we go. Can you hear me? Little technical difficulties. It's all good. Little technical difficulties. It'd be like that sometimes, you know what I mean? We back. We back. We good. We live? I think so. I can't hear you now. You was breaking up. Can you hear me? It'd be like that. Are we good? I think we're good now. I see you moving. Can you? Oh, okay. We good. Yeah, yeah. We live. We okay, live. okay, okay, okay. <laughs> We let we let. Uh, all right, so so say like say everything like say everything you just said over. <laughs> say everything you just said over. Um, shit. Um, <laughs> six years ago, um, six years ago, you dropped your first one. Well, no, six. You've been oh, doing it for about six years now. Right. So you know, you start from there. You know, you 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 start making your first tracks. You start post tracks. You know, on SoundCloud or wherever you can, and it just kind of it goes from there so that's really where i started i just started recording myself because i was like i can't depend on no and i'm not gonna wait <laughs> so i'm gonna get my own microphone and record myself and do my own thing and yeah and everything else every other opportunity or door that's open for me has been be took the initiative first and just went ahead and did it and I listen back to yep. the, those first songs that i recorded now i mean like back then if i listen to them now like I can hear how far I've come. Like, the mixes are mm. terrible, and like, you know, I'm like, oh man, like I should have, I should have turned that down, or oh, I should have put some reverb on that. Like, <laughs> you know, but you learn, you learn. So, so like, right, you you was mastering the craft. So much more polished. So, yeah. Now, currently, are you still like, do you still record everything yourself, or like, do you go to a studio? Mm -hmm. No, yeah? I still record everything myself. And it's funny because I, I, to be honest, sometimes I even get a variety, like when I go mm. into studios, because it's like a, it's like a pressure. Like, you right. know, I'm not, I'm not at home. I can't just like chill and you know put, put my little my my zen little lights on, be in my mood. It's like there's somebody there, and I gotta tell them like when I'm like, oh, whoops, let me do that again. I have to say that. Mm -hmm. And it's funny because you know when I'm working my mind, I don't say it. I just hit the button and again. You just do and it. I have like a rhythm. Right. You know what I mean? Like it's like a, I'm a machine. So when it's another person, it's like a middleman, and I'm like, I, why are you here? And I, uh, like, you don't even know how to communicate like, with them. <laughs> yeah. Or or if I want them to like, you know, put a certain effect on it or something, and they're not working in Studio One, and I can't just be like, oh, do this, like. Mm. So I mean I that. that's something that'll come with time, you know what I mean? Like I'm not saying that's a that's a brick wall with me, like, but it's right. definitely something that I have to like adjust to because I'm so used to recording myself and being that way. If, matter of fact, one of one of my like really popular songs called Two Up uh was recorded in um a closet mm. <laughs> in Atlanta. Wait, See that when nobody even know.
All right. <laughs> we good. I think. Yeah. Okay, yeah, we, we good? good. I hear you. But yeah. I definitely hear you. All right. I actually recorded um, in a bedroom closet in my producer's bedroom. Well, not in his bed, in his, because he has like a whole studio and everybody's working like in, in his house. And that's all great and fine and dandy. I was like, nah, I need my own space. So I literally hung up my, my I found it and like hung up the microphone closet, climbed in it and like got my my laptop and recorded like this song because I, I can't be around all y'all. I can't. Like I need I need my space. You need and a safe space. Then when yeah. I came back down, because they were like, damn, like lay you in the closet all day. Like what are you doing? And when I came back downstairs and like hooked my shit up to the to the big speakers and like played what I was working on, everybody was like, yo, yo, go back to the closet. Yo, get no, back to the closet. Like the closet is working. Like <laughs> So, That's where it's yeah. at, yo. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I have like my own flow, like thing going. So yeah. <laughs> That's fire, yo. I'm I'm loving your energy for real. Like you, you, uh, you really you. are passionate about this for real. Absolutely, for real. absolutely. Where? Now, actually, I wanted to actually talk about your first EP back in 2019. Okay. That's your first EP, right? Um, it's um hello, um hello. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that was. That was a project um, that kind of came about uh, the producers that go by Aura. Um, they shout out to them. Kind of wanted to, to create. A, yeah, shout out to them. They um, connected and we we just they heard something in me. I heard something in them, and they were like, "Yo, like let's just make an EP. Like let's make a project. Like we'll produce everything, and then you you do your thing. You write. You sing." and whatever and we'll just put it out because we just wanted we were we were all at a space where we just wanted to put music out like right. we knew we it's, were good you had the love and the passion for it right and it's like well, what are we doing like let's make something let's just get it out there and so that's what we did so we kind of just came together and as as i said they produced everything i wrote everything recorded everything and it all just kind of came together and into this piece and I called it um hello because it was like a like hello like look at us like look at you know like this shit is fire don't over sleep. here like don't we're sleep. not trash yeah. like, <laughs> so it was kind of like you know just like calling the world like um hello like all right wake here. up wake yeah, up people yeah. she's lit stop playing with right. her <laughs> stop playing with the queen right that's fire right. I love it now do yeah, you have so any um any visuals? I didn't get a chance to look at see if you had any visuals, but I definitely I heard the entire album of Un Um Hello. I heard you dropped a single on site, which is also on Um Hello, right? And then, yeah, I believe that was it. Oh, and Sailor Moon. There's of a video. For, yeah, so there is a, a video for on site. Um, so that. Mm. that myself as well, just like I record and mix myself. Um, I did the video for that. One stop shop. And, and um, there is a video for Sailor Moon. Um, I don't have a date yet, but I do want to say like, it's looking like looking it's coming. It. It's really cool. And yeah, shot it myself, did everything myself as well, you know. This is the age we're in, and between quarantine and just you know, just being an independent artist, and doing what you got to do. I do what I do. So, but I'm very excited. Literally it's coming along very, very, very well. It's just about it's just about done. Like, but yeah, I don't want to say too much, but it is definitely coming. Um, so that I'm excited about. Fact, but, gotta, but for in the meantime, though, in. there is a video for on site. In the meantime. I'm gonna definitely check that out. I'm gonna definitely promote it myself too. You know what I'm saying? For support, Thank out of you. love. But um, yeah. If 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 there's anyone who's a definition of an independent artist, it's definitely you. 
like <laughs> thank fire. You, thank you. You're thank shooting you. your own videos. You're shoot. mixing, Wait. mastering your own tracks. Like you gonna start producing next? Give me the budget. Wait till they give me right. the budget. Wait till they. Wait right. till y'all see what I do with a real budget though. <laughs> <laughs> they gonna see. God. They gonna see. You just no, keep doing. Man. You keep that momentum going, and it's it's gonna like it's like planting seeds. You get the fruits of the labor. You know what I mean? Absolutely, absolutely. And then you lit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Now, um, you told me you had people in your family that made music. Uh, you told me about your inspirations. Um, do you plan on dropping another single anytime soon, or are we just expecting a video? Yeah. So I would say y'all can expect another single. There will be another single after the video. So, okay. and then I got some other things coming after that. But well, let's just let's just say there there will well, definitely be another single after Sailor Moon, but I just, I need y'all to digest this video first when it comes out. Right. And then, right. I'll, then, I'll, then I'll give y'all a taste of, like, the new wave of shit, because there's definitely a whole, like, new wave. <laughs> we definitely, we definitely got to get on another interview once, once everything drops. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. And tell me, actually, let's tap, tap into, I want to tap into, um, like, your cover arts, like, the concept behind your cover art for Sailor Moon, and I'm hello, like, I, I like, I like the colors. It was very, it was very, uh, it caught my attention. You know what I'm saying? Very bright. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, so for I'm hello, Trippy. um, I was really inspired by belly and mm. movie. Um, and Classic. yeah, exactly. And so just that, you know, just that whole, you know, pink inspired fluffy bedroom on the phone. Yo, I'm hello. Like, what's up? <laughs> like, it was very. I was inspired by that. Plus, I had just tons of fluffy, like, pink shit. Mm. <laughs> so I was like, all right, let's throw this all together. Let's do it. Like, um, and uh, yeah, a really close friend of mine who is a photographer um, shot it for me. So it was all. I did that all in my house. So look at that. Um, look at that. Yeah, is that actually? Shot. Is that a green screen behind you? Yeah, yeah. Look at that. So that's fire, that, that's yo. That's give you a clue as to how the Sailor Moon video is going to come out, because I shot uh -huh. it in here. Look at yeah. that. Look at that. She that's said, I don't got to right. go nowhere for nothing. Shoot. That's it. I record my shit in one room, and I walk over to the next room, and I record the video, OK? Like, that's look it. Look at that. Chop, chop. That's the definition of an in-house studio, especially during quarantine. Sure. Absolutely, yeah. I don't need to go nowhere. That's why. And people, they, they, and, I, and people tell me all the time, like, "Oh, I miss you." Like, and you know, I miss you. I don't see you. And I'm like, you yeah. know, and I'm like, everything I need is right here, and I just don't. Yeah, want you to ain't go. gotta go nowhere. <laughs> yeah, where? But um, I love it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, this, 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 this stuff. Yeah, I'm I'm excited for real. Like you you definitely are an inspiration to a lot of up and coming artists, a lot of independent artists who are also doing the same thing right now, you know what I'm saying? I'm sure they can definitely take a lot of insight from this interview, you know what I mean? Cuz you you got it. You yeah, got yeah, it. I hope so. Yeah. Power to the people, power to the starving artists out there cuz we be starving, we hungry. You know what I mean? like Guys. So you gotta, you gotta do to what eat. you gotta do. <laughs> you know, you gotta make it work with what you have. And and I'm I'm not I'm never one to complain or to you know feel sorry for myself or to stop myself or let anything stop me from doing what I want to do. And I may have big ideas that may be out of my budget, but I'll do as close I'll get as close as I can get with Max. what I can and what I have. What and I think got. every artist should be able to do that. I mean, creativity is free. Imagination is free. Right. Period. Exactly. And support is free, too. Nah, yeah. Sorry, and support what? is free. Nah, oh, I, got, yeah. I got sidetracked. My bad. Nah, nah, it's all good. What? It's all good. Nah, I definitely, like, I definitely appreciate, you know, the time you took to just sit with me and talk about your little creative journey. You know what Thank I mean? You. Thank you for having me. Of I be course, wanting to talk about it. <laughs> right, yeah, I see you. Super excited. Shoot, I love the energy. I'm definitely looking forward to your next release. I'm, I'm going to definitely tune into the on-site video, and then I'm looking forward to the next video you drop. 
And then, you know, once once you do drop the singles and everything, we gonna be right back in tune going crazy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Can't wait. Yeah, so I mean, I appreciate your time. Um, I'm getting a little sidetracked because we still shooting it's this right. video, but yeah, we definitely like gonna be back in tune, all right? All right, then. Holla. Enjoy the rest of your night. Talk to you, you soon. <laughs> Later.